Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're checking out the Redbeard FX Honey Badger. So Redbeard's first pedal uh, was the Red Mist, and it came out last year, and it was my favourite drive pedal bar none that came out last year. It really surprised me how much I loved the gain and how unique it was. It was just an all out balls to the wall drive pedal that I absolutely loved. And the philosophy of that pedal has kind of carried over to this one. It's a pedal completely designed from the ground up. We have, basically is an octave fuzz machine. We have a vintage style high gain fuzz on one side and then a switchable analog two octave or one octave below. This pedal is made for fat riffs, creating huge textures in your playing and sound and also is really great for some synthy leads. Let's talk a bit about the fuzz side first. We have three main controls for the fuzz side, uh, barring the, the volume control. So we have the volume, then we have treble bass, which are both active controls, so we can either plus or minus your treble and bass. I believe it's six plus 6 dB or minus 6 dB and then we have your overall fuzz and gain control. The fuzz to me sounds somewhere in between a germanium and silicon fuzz. I'm not actually sure what components are inside here, but it does have the spittiness and warmth of a germanium style fuzz, but still the thickness and the saturation of a silicon fuzz. Plus there is a huge amount of gain in this pedal. You can really, you can still get some kind of low gain fuzzy tones, but cranking up that gain increases the low end, the body, and it just sounds so thick and huge. If you want to crank up the thickness even more, there is the switchable octave. Like I said, it's an analog octave, either two, minus two or minus one octaves down. And it's a really unique take on an octave style thing. It tracks really fast, um, but once it gets your note, it kind of wavers and it's a really cool glitchy synthy effect. It's not a super tight octave like a pog or something like that, but it really embraces the weirdness and quirkiness of it and it really adds to the character of the pedal. Controls for the octave, we have a divide and the octave. So your divide blends between your minus two or minus one octaves or anywhere in between. And then your octave is the overall level of the octave. Cranking it up, it really kind of overtakes the fuzz sound Sound, and so you get almost more octave than fuzz winding it back and it just kind of sits underneath the fuzz sound and it's great for layering up riffs and things like that
two foot switches on the bottom we have your bypass switch and then your switchable octave the octave doesn't work if the fuzz is off which is completely cool with me kind of works in conjunction with the fuzz top mounted jacks and a middle 9 volt DC build quality is superb these are made uh, kind of within the same house as the Thorpey stuff so build quality is ridiculously high I love that what they're cranking out here and the enclosure is unique it looks sweet and it's gonna take a house falling on top of this to break it we're gonna get some thick tones today we're gonna be using my music man st. Vincent into the victory v40 set up pretty clean um, so all the gain is coming from the fuzz pedal and then we're going into my Boss Wazza Tube Amp Expander, which is uh, where all the reverb's coming from, but it's also emulating a 212 cab, mic'd up with an SM57 and a ribbon mic. Going into my audio interface and then straight into Logic.
thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.